Hey folks, how you doing? Ryan with Premier. And thank you to a abnormally warm day in the middle of February, 60 degrees, I'm out and able to do an estimate on tennis courts. It's that time of year again. So, tennis court videos seem to be the most popular videos on my channel. And why is that? I really feel it's because there's not enough contractors out there who do this type of work which leaves customers scrambling for answers. So I'd like to give you a couple examples today of the differences or the difference between uh, a tennis court that needs to be completely replaced and one that's salvageable. All right, so let's get going. All right, here we are. We're at the Ferncroft Country Club out here in Middleton, Massachusetts. And we are looking at four of their eight courts. The courts in the back are clay. We don't mess with clay. And the other ones are asphalt. So you can see in the past that somebody took some kind of concrete and tried to fill these cracks. Now these are some pretty big cracks. I mean, compared to my foot, I have a pretty wide foot. They're pretty, pretty big. Now the posts, surprisingly for a, a court that was built in the late 60s these posts are all pretty straight when you look down the line they all line up nothing's jacked nothing's heaved somebody's actually taken the nets down which is actually pretty surprised but you know when you're looking to resurface a tennis court you need the the palette the canvas the bare bones to meet certain requirements. And what are those requirements? Some might say, well, cracks, no, cracks, we can fix cracks, all right? What we can't fix too easily is stuff like this. Like this right here. This is some heaving. Now, this is typical. Anytime you're gonna see a wood line this close to the tennis courts. Nowadays, when we build a tennis court or if we're gonna rehab a tennis court that has a similar situation to this is we'll actually take a ditch runner or a ditch witch and we'll run it down this side right here and open up like a little um a little cavern on the edge and then we'll take a root block and we will um, install it to the court side of that trench and what that does is it stops anything surface down to 20 inches from growing under the court and causing heaving problems like this this is a pretty pretty big thing now in the past you can see here in the past we have um, ground those down after and tried to fix them but it's a temporary solution you know um, if this customer is looking for a long-term you know option pulverize in place and pave is going to get you into the next three decades all right i mean again the bones on this are fairly good have i fixed tennis courts that were in worse shape i probably shouldn't have but i did um you know some of you guys that are in the business might say well you know is this a prime cam candidate for like a mapping type uh or a mat type system and it could be if it didn't have the root issue that's that's the big thing that's what's turning me away from from wanting to try to fix this in conventional in conventional ways now you can see a lot of the old patching through here and this stuff has has started to fail it's lived its life based on what i see it looks like right way um and you know this has been here she said at least 15 years so you're looking at 15 year old right way patches the ground has shifted because all of these you know when you see cracks that are so big like this right so follow this over from over here it starts here goes all the way up to here it comes all the way over to here and then it comes all the way down to there this piece that i'm standing on right now it might as well be it might as well be an iceberg because it's just flow it's just floating there all of these pieces are just floating there so what happens is you get a shift in the pavement and it causes what we call roping or a um, 
like a, a ripple effect in the in the patch. Now, you can tell by looking over there what those cracks were. And this indentation right here, that's what you're up against. Now, a lot of times we try not to, to get so invasive by going in there and repairing stuff like this because you don't know exactly what's going on under there. The best option for a court in this condition is paving. So that's what we're gonna be recommending to the customer. Then you can control your grading. You can fix all these low puddle spots that you're having. And you know, tennis courts have a, have a lifespan and this one unfortunately is just at the end of it. So now let's look at these ones. These courts are in a little bit better shape. They're newer. They do have some cracks, but these cracks are typical of what you could expect as far as repair goes. Now it looks like in the past that they've used a trowel type of uh, like a binder patch. And I know that by the way it looks and by the way it feels in my hand. It does have some older uh, membrane type repairs on it and through the through the years hydrostatic pressure has caused those to delaminate you could hear it tallow underneath there so those would need to be taken out over here is the same thing you can see the rippling in the fabric Again, just caused by these these pieces of asphalt are, you know, they're they're moving on their own throughout the years. But I this is a court that is in you have much better of a chance um, when it comes to repairing this as you do the one over across the way. So that's what we're going to be recommending to the customer. Uh, this is why maintenance is so important. You got to stay up on top of maintaining these courts because if you do, I mean, I've seen courts that are 50, 60 years old that look amazing. And, and I've seen courts that are 20 years old that look absolutely disgusting because nobody, nobody cared. And uh, when you don't care, it costs money. So if you're a person with a with a sport court at your property and it looks similar to one of these two courts and you kind of got a good idea of what you're going to be up against as far as the process to fixing it now what are the pricing well that all depends on where you're at it depends on you know what it costs to get the materials to you what the cost of asphalt is how many contractors in your area there are the list is is forever the only thing i can tell you is make sure you're hiring somebody with good reviews all right can can new guys and, and, and can some of you guys who are followers of mine, you know, do jobs like this? Yeah, yeah, you can, but you're going to learn and they're not going to come out good at first. <laughs> you know, if, if somebody, if your wife came home and her car was wrecked, she smashed it into a wall. Would you think that you can fix that car? No, you might know. You might be smart enough to change a body panel or take a bumper off, but you're not going to know how to straighten that frame out. You're not going to know all the little intricate things um, that come to putting a car that was in that bad of an accident back together the same thing with tennis courts You know if you're a guy that's just starting out and you want to get into the court business Then start with new courts put some years in doing new courts develop your technique and then That's the key really because all the stuff that we're doing right now is cosmetic It's similar to to body work, you know, you're you're, you're, you're doing the body work on the car And then you're gonna paint the car now you could look at um an older car and and think well that thing's got a nice paint job right but then you go put a magnet on it and it's covered in bondo and and the paint is really just hiding the what the person didn't know about fixing cars and that's kind of the same premise as, as tennis courts tennis courts only have a one year warranty in most cases you know so all that contractor has to do is make sure that his project can last one year and then you can go pound sand, pal, because what, what, what options do you have for recourse? None. So, you know, it's important to do it right. It's important to, to, to do repairs that are going to last the long term, not something that's going to be quick. Uh, uh, what do I mean by something that's, well, you know, besides just looking sloppy and atrocious, 
you can actually use a product like this and and make something look halfway decent long enough to cash the check in the custom and not complain and that's pretty much probably what happened here this is a pretty good color match they it was this was probably a small hairline crack they put this stuff on there it, the crack looked closed it looked enough like the color for them not to complain knowing that the core itself had not been resurfaced in years and then the springtime came and those cracks came right back but you know what it's probably been past a year customer doesn't even notice it by the time they stumble back out here in the summer and or someone complains they go hey we had that crack fix last year and the guy goes yeah sorry i only have a one-year warranty if you're going to fix stuff like that you got to use a membrane repair which means you're pretty much going to have to resurface the entire court blah 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 yeah you're down the rabbit hole of bullshit you know so here's some more roping that you can see all this is fixable all right, I will say they did a good job of hiding their 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 repairs. This looks more like armor than it does right way. Um, armor has a tendency to rope in the middle. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's what we're up against here. And again, if you're somebody who clean my camera, I should do this. This is very unprofessional. So if you're somebody who has a tennis court at your house and you're trying to figure out what your options are or you're trying to find courts that you can compare to the condition of your courts, you can get an idea of what it's going to cost to fix it, well, then I hope this video helped you out a little bit. You know, you might say, well, you didn't do shit. You didn't do anything about giving prices. You didn't talk about prices. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. So, crack repair for right way on new cracks like this typically runs anywhere from 20 to 20 bucks on the low end 30 bucks on the high end if it's a municipal job linear feet to fix so a crack like that that may run you know anywhere from 40 to 50 feet that one crack is going to be like three 300 bucks to fix all right over here So if you're somebody who has a sports court in your yard or your property and you're trying to get an idea of what the, the, the process or the cost is going to be to fix something like that, then I hope that this video helps you out. I have a lot of other videos of tennis courts on my page. And, and look, if um, you're saying, well, you didn't really talk about pricing. And again, that's all relative to kind of where you are. But I'll give you an idea of what it costs out here. You know, cracks like this, your typical crack repair runs about 20 30 dollars a linear foot to do with a membrane repair 20 on the low end 30 on the high end if it's a municipal job so you know you got a 50 foot crack like that that one cracks gonna be 1500 bucks to fix right but it's your most permanent way of fixing it where you don't have to deal deal with it on a yearly basis because using a material like this you know damn sure that this thing came back in the spring probably pissed people off now cracks like this where you've had a repair put down in the past and then now this repair needs to come out and a new one has to go down that's tough <laughs> that's a tough thing to price that usually runs around forty dollars a linear foot but it's contingent on everything being okay once you know once you get on once you get this up this could be a pandora's box under here you know you could start pulling this up and notice that you have washout that goes six feet in one direction. Well, now that's a bigger problem that you have to deal with. So you gotta be careful when you're when you're opening up Pandora's boxes. All right. One thing I just noticed over here. Look at all the sand. This is the sand from the tennis court. Very noticeable. You know, very noticeable. So you can tell water's coming over here, and when it rains, it's pooling up. And I'm glad they notice this because I'm going to have to recommend that this whole side right here gets cleaned and that it gets brought down lower than the pad itself so that it will help all this water drain off of here. All right. So back to the pricing. Now, you know, you're looking at about 30, 40 bucks a linear foot on the right way repairs. 
and you're looking at anywhere from eight to ten thousand dollars per tennis court to resurface all in all a job like this if you're doing it the way you're supposed to including power washing prep the multiple coats waiting your your full day between coats you know a job like this could take up to a week so uh, over here well this is this is where you're talking a lot more money because paving is expensive so a job like this typically for pulverized and paving can be anywhere from 55 to 60 thousand and for um, uh, like a mill and overlay anywhere from 25 to 30 thousand you know if it didn't have the root issues over there I would absolutely advise them to try to go with a mill and overlay but you know you got you got root issues which means you got basic issues all that all that needs to be tightened up so thanks again I appreciate you watching the channel if you're a follower of mine someone in the industry you know feel free to call me I got guys calling me all the time asking me questions um, and honestly I don't mind answering them if you're just a homeowner or a property manager and you're just doing a little research on tennis courts now and you don't have a company to hire or you've used the local company near you and you weren't impressed with them and you're just like you know I got people who are just like hey I just like you I like watching your videos I, I feel that you're a no-nonsense guy I trust what you say and I want to hire you that's fine too I mean we travel all over the country I'll be more than happy to come out to you and uh take a week to to do your court so um this is ryan with premier signing off